welcome to Nursing School Explained. This video will go over how to take a patient's manual blood pressure. So we need some tools for that. We need a stethoscope and a blood pressure cuff. So now let's take our patient's blood pressure. Hi, I'm going to take your blood pressure. Is that okay? Yes. Can you tell me what your normal blood pressure usually is? Maybe it's around 120 over 70 something. Okay, thank you. So then we'll roll the patient's sleeve up. We want to make sure that we actually don't put the cuff over a piece of clothing because that again might alter the result. So I'll take my cuff and I place it around the patient's upper arm. In this case, it is left upper arm. So I need to make sure I line the arrow up with his brachial artery. So I will feel for his brachial artery right there and line my arrow up. Then I will close the cuff with the Velcro and make sure that it doesn't move. Now you want to make sure that it's nice and snug, but not too tight and not too loose. And again, that just takes time and practice. Now we have the tubing right here that can kind of be a little bit disorienting at times. So in this case, I'm going to ask my patient, can you please hold this for me? Thank you. And because I'll be using my stethoscope, there's going to be three tubings here. Now, if I, the stethoscope tubing rubs against one of these other two, I'm going to have a difficult time actually hearing the blood pressure reading. So I always recommend detangling the tubing first. So in this case, I'll bring this around here, and then I place my stethoscope at the patient's brachial artery. So right where I just palpated, I will put my stethoscope. Now make sure that you're not putting the stethoscope underneath or really jamming it underneath because again that might cause some friction that you can hear and it'll be very distracting especially if you're just starting to do that. So I put my stethoscope right here and the best way to hold it is to secure it with your thumb of your non-dominant hand and then have the fingers of the same hand behind the patient's arm that way you can kind of squeeze it against here and it'll be pretty steady. Other techniques I've seen in the past is holding it with your index and middle finger, but that kind of makes it a little bit wo too wobbly for me. So I like the other version where you're really able to really just hold it and press it against the patient's skin. Of course, we're very gentle with that. And then I can let this go now because I have my, a good vision of my sigma manometer right here. So I put my ear pieces in and I will start to inflate the cuff. Thank you for that. My reading was 108 over 68, which is normal. So I removed the blood pressure cuff from the patient. I take care of my patient, get them back in order, and I will report my findings. Thank you so much for watching this video on Nursing School Explained on how to take a manual blood pressure. Please also make sure that you watch the other videos that assess the, the rest of the vital signs. Thanks for watching.